All right, we're back in our home in Europe playing the Philips Video Pack G7000. And this is Air, Sea, War, and Battle. We got two games on this one. All right, let's check out the artwork. This is the front box. As you can see, it's released in Europe, so it has different names. Air, Sea, and War has the German, French, Italian, uh, looks like uh, Norwegian, all the different uh, names because it was uh, distributed all over Europe. And then the second game is Battle or Pandeschlag, if you're uh, Deutschland. All right, let's move to the rest of the artwork. We got, there's an example of the cartridge uh, handle on top. That's pretty cool. Takes it in and out easier, I guess, for uh, if your hands slip on the cartridge. And then back of the cartridge. And so this is uh, Europe's first time to ever be at home playing the game. And as we play and go through all the games, we're going to get a global perspective. So we're going to be able to see what, uh, compared to other people in North America were playing, what Europe was playing, around the world, what they, what they were playing. And so let's take a look. This is Air Sea War Battle. This is December 1978. It was released when the Philips Video Pack came out in Europe. All right, so we're back on the Philips Video Pack, and now it's going to ask us what game you want to play. We didn't get a manual, but I'm guessing the first game is the Air Sea Battle. So on the console, we push number one. And there it is. So now we're starting. Do we play? Oh, we are. Okay, so I am the uh, green plane at the top of the screen. I'm going down, going up, and uh, using my joystick to move up and down. And then I push a button, and I bomb. Boom! Hit the yellow ship right off the bat. So I got different controls, like to move slow or fast. Oh, I can't knock the purple one out. But it's based on, it's a timing game, a war game. What? I can't blow the ship up? Maybe they're my friend. Let's get that yellow one. Yeah, there we go. Controls work really well, though. The The joystick was not so good uh, for the first time for someone to use this. Uh, they did not have Atari at the time. At least to play at home yet. Uh, they will get it. Atari will start shipping it over. But uh, this is the, 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 their first experience playing anything on their television in Europe. They did have the arcade games that they could go to, too. Okay, that works great. All right, let's reset. Let's check out the second game. All right, so what we do is we push, I'm guessing, number two on the console. Boop. Uh, looks the same. Did I push the wrong button? I think it's the same game. Or maybe it's a different game variation. So let's try it again. Let's reset. Let's try game three. Is game three different? No, same one. Let's try reset. It's probably just different game variations. Four looks the same. Is five different? No. All right, let's try it from the beginning. We'll, we'll load it up and see if we can get to battle because uh, on the... Oh, there we go. I can see now. If you look at the cartridge, the cartridge explains that it's one or three and then it's letters to play the battle game. So we have to push the right letter to play. It looks like letter A on the, the console. Of course, letter A is how you play battle. That, that makes total sense. All right, so we push A. There we go. Okay, so now we're playing battle. Uh, this is very similar to combat. I'm, I'm controlling the blue tank on the left. I have a fire and similar controls. The tank sound effects are terrible. <laughs> to, to drive the tank is just repeating the same sound over and over again. But uh, it's the same idea. I'm driving the tank on the left. I have no one playing the second player with me, but they control the red tank. And then, yep, you blow blow them up and then continue to get points for it. And it looks like there's not many iframes. It looks like right whenever you die, uh, you just appear in the same spot and get shot again. So, so, so sorry for those younger siblings in Europe playing uh, Battle. All right, that is enough of that one. This was the uh, Philips Video Pack. So this one, I'd say uh, this was about average for the time of the two games you could play at home. From a global perspective, from Europe, I could bump it up uh, a notch, but three stars for sure. And yes, uh, from the chat, Casey Club Kirby said, we've seen better tank games, and I agree, we have seen better tank games. Quite a bit. All right, moving on to our next game. We're going back to Atari. This is basketball on the Atari 2600. Let's check out the artwork. Atari, love the artwork. It's two games. Basketball for one or two players is my guess. Very minimal, though. Usually Atari has 10, 15, 20, even more games in the one game. And this one uses the classic uh, Atari joystick right there. One button, very simple. There's our cartridge. And there's a snapshot of what we're what we're due for. 
So here's the manual of basketball by Atari uh, to play on the Atari 2600. This gives you examples of how to use the controller. And uh, check out what it says for the controls. If you want to move right, you, you go this way. If you want to move left, you go this way. Just so there's no confusion. Everyone knows exactly how to, to move their, their, uh, basketball, their, their blocky basketball man. And then they got different uh, difficulty switches on the console. You could switch switch out. But I think we got the idea. It's, if it's using the standard controller, that means we just have the joystick to move and then a button. And by the way, the Atari joystick is a digital joystick. It's the same as if you're using a directional pad on Nintendo or Super Nintendo. There is an analog movement where you can't slightly move the joystick left and right. It's just a switch to, that, that moves you uh, back and forth. All right, so our different versions are just the European versions. We're going to play the North American version. It is December 1978. Lots of games coming out for Christmas in 1978. And this is basketball. So we're at home playing basketball on our tw Atari 2600. We got uh, yeah, two different game modes, game one or game two. So I'm going to reset the console. And now I am playing as the blue basketball player. Can I steal from you? There we go. All right, so I'm the blue basketball player. I have full range over the court. And I'm able to bounce the ball, and it looks like <laughs> how long you hold the button down is how you shoot. So you actually have to time it. And then whenever I make the shot, the second player takes it. We do not have a second player plugged in, so they would be controlling the green basketball player. But, yep, I got the idea. You have to time your shot in. So let's see what the second game is then. Second game, I push reset, and now, oh, computer controlled. So now I'm playing with a computer player as the green player. I'm the purple guy. And, oh, he got a point on me. And they're, they're scoring like normal basketball rules. I also can jump up and block. Man, he's killing me. Did I steal? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so at least I stole from him. Get it. All right, I'm trying to get a shot in before he takes it. Nice, gets the job done. Very fun game uh, for Atari. And considering we've played only one other basketball game in the arcades, this is very good for the time. So for star uh, star rating, this would be a four star game. Uh, maybe because there's not any, as many game rules, we'll give it three and a half. But still, very good game for the time.